Cat Owl is a game to practice arithmetic, logic, attentiveness and concentration skills. The kids learn to determine quantities without recounting. There are several levels of difficulty and corresponding sets of rules. The cats and owls live with the witch and the poor things are often subjected to witch's experiments which is why they can be blue, orange, spotty or striped. The game requires the player to determine who is who and will be assisted in this task by dice with attributes, dice with numbers and special game totems. The first version of this game is called Count and it can be played with kids four years and older. Remove the magic cards from the deck as we won't need them and place the remaining cards on the table face down. The first player, that's the youngest one, opens the top card and places it in front of him. He then rolls the dice with attributes and names the number of animals that have this attribute. Here a player got spotted. He counted all the spotted animals on the card and replied four. And that's the correct answer, the player keeps the card. If the answer is incorrect, the player puts the card at the bottom of the central stack and passes the turn to the next person. The game continues until all cards are played. The player who collects the most cards wins. The other version of this game uses the dice with numbers. The game is played in the same way, but now the players have to name the common attribute of animals whose quantity corresponds to the number on the dice. In this case, the player has to say owls because the card shows six owls. The next game, called Remember, for kids of five years and older is similar, but requires the players to use their memory. It starts with a stack of cards face down on the table. The first player takes the card and places it in front of him so everyone can see it. The player then concentrates on studying the card, then, after five to ten seconds, turns it over. After that, the player rolls the dice with attributes. His objective is to remember and name the number of animals with such attribute. And do you remember how many orange animals the card showed? The first player gives his answer and then the other players, moving clockwise, give their answers. After all the players give their answer, the card is turned over for examination. Whoever was the first to call the right number takes the card. Then it's the next player's turn and the game is over after all the cards have been played. As you might have already guessed, there is a version of this game for the dice with numbers. The rules are exactly the same, but this time the player has to remember how many animals were on the card. Five, four or two, depending on the dice roll. Previous versions of this game allowed us some time to think. But the Snatch game is all about making the fastest decisions. In this game, we will finally use these totems for snatching, as well as the whole deck, including the magic cards. Three totems and the deck of cards face down are placed in the center of the table. The player rolls the dice with numbers and then opens the top card. Now everyone's racing each other to determine what three animals are on the card. In this case, whoever is fastest snatches the totem with the owl attribute. If a player opens up a magic card, the objective is to snatch the totem with two attributes that the animal on the card lacks. So, if the card shows a striped blue owl, you have to snatch the totem with attributes cat and orange. If the card shows a spotted orange cat, snatch the totem with attributes striped and blue. Whoever snatches the totem first gets the card. If several people seize the totem, the person who holds it at the lowest gets the card. If a player seizes the wrong totem, he needs to give up one of his cards as a fine and he places this at the bottom of the deck. The game continues until all the cards have been played. And for the grand finale, here's the advanced version of this game. At each turn, the card is turned over for 5 to 10 seconds and everyone remembers all the cat owls. Then the card is turned over, the dice is rolled and it's time to snatch those totems. And that's it, have fun playing and learning.